Which is the best e-commerce platform in 2022? Creating an online store is no easy task. This guide will help you decide which e-commerce platform to choose for your online store by comparing Shopify and WooCommerce, the two most popular e-commerce platforms. Let's start talking about WooCommerce. Mentioning WooCommerce is mentioning the most popular way to make an e-commerce store in 2022. WooCommerce is not a standalone e-commerce platform. Instead, it's a plugin for WordPress. If you're not familiar with WordPress, it's the most popular way to build a website in general, powering over 40% of all the websites on the internet. To launch a store with WooCommerce, you'll first need to install the WordPress software on your web hosting. Then, you can add the WooCommerce plugin to WordPress to turn your site into a fully functioning e-commerce store. Like WordPress, WooCommerce is a free, open source project, which means that anyone can download, edit, or copy its code. It's developed by Automatic, the same team behind WordPress.com and Tumblr. WooCommerce standout value propositions are its flexibility and affordability. While WooCommerce itself is a plugin for WordPress, you can also find thousands of official and third-party WooCommerce plugins that further extend the core WooCommerce platform. You can use these plugins to improve your store's shopping experience, better market your store, connect other tools, and gain more control over your store. You can also use WooCommerce themes to control how your store looks. You'll find thousands of WooCommerce-compatible themes for a range of different niches. If you can't find a pre-made plugin or theme that does what you need, you also get full access to your store's underlying code, which means you can make your own direct edits or hire a developer to do things for you. Overall, WooCommerce is popular because it's free and it offers full flexibility, while also still keeping things simple enough that non-developers can use it to build a fully functioning, secure e-commerce store. Shopify has a different approach to creating an e-commerce store than WooCommerce. Whereas WooCommerce is an open source project that you can install on your own web hosting, Shopify is a closed source hosted tool. What this means is that you don't have access to all the code that powers your store, nor do you need to bother with hosting any software yourself. Instead, Shopify handles setting everything up for you so that you just need to register for an account and start adding products. The main advantage of this closed source, hosted approach is simplicity. You don't need to install any software to create a store, nor are you responsible for maintaining or securing your store. Shopify handles all of that for you. The trade-off, though, is that you lose the flexibility and affordability that an open source tool like WooCommerce offers. Instead, you'll only have access to the specific features that the Shopify team decides to give you access to. While there are opportunities to customize your site with apps and themes, you don't have the failsafe of being able to directly edit your store's code. Additionally, Shopify can be a bit more expensive than WooCommerce, though there are a lot of variables to how much your store will actually cost. Before continuing, let us show you this web page that you will surely need. It is FiverrR.com. Fiverr is the world's largest website for freelancers. Here just by putting in the search box you will have at your disposal hundreds of experts from all over the world in topics such as online store configuration, web page design, editing and video optimization, or the topic you can think of in the service you need. Seriously when we tell you that it is one of the best tools you will find. In the description of this video you will find the link that will take you to FiverrR.com. WooCommerce vs Shopify, a detailed comparison. Now, let's get into a more detailed WooCommerce vs. Shopify comparison. We'll compare these two platforms in 12 key areas. Number 1. Pricing. Comparing pricing can be difficult because there are a lot of variables that go into each platform. In general, though, WooCommerce will be cheaper for most people. There are only three things you need to launch a WooCommerce store. A domain name. Many hosts offer these for free, or they cost about $10 per year. Web hosting. This is the most variable core cost. Small stores might be fine with $10 per month hosting, but large stores with lots of products will need more expensive hosting. WooCommerce. The WooCommerce software itself is free. Those are the costs for the core e-commerce platform, but you will probably also want to add some third-party plugins, which might cost money. For example, if you want to access Elementor WooCommerce Builder, you'll need to purchase Elementor Pro for $49.
Other WooCommerce plugins typically cost $20 to $80, but can range up to $200 for plugins such as WooCommerce subscriptions for recurring payments. You also might want a premium WooCommerce theme, which usually costs $60. To create a Shopify store, you only need two things. A domain name. The Shopify service. Unlike WooCommerce, Shopify isn't free. You'll need to pay a recurring monthly fee for as long as your store is active. The prices are $29 per month on their basic plan, $79 per month on their standard plan, $299 per month on their advanced Shopify plan. Those prices are just for the core Shopify software. You also might want to pay for premium Shopify apps, which cost anywhere from a few dollars per month to a lot more. For example, a popular SEO app costs $30 per month. There's an important difference in pricing between premium WooCommerce plugins versus premium Shopify apps. WooCommerce plugins are usually one-time payments, with optional renewals to keep receiving support updates. However, Shopify apps are ongoing monthly fees, which can add up over time. You also might want a premium Shopify theme, which typically costs $180 for official themes, which is about 3x what most WooCommerce themes cost. Winner, WooCommerce. Though there are a lot of variables, WooCommerce will be cheaper for most people. WooCommerce also lets you avoid monthly recurring fees, which can really add up in the long run. Number 2 Ease of Use WooCommerce is still easy enough for non-developers to use, but its setup process is a bit more technical than Shopify. To create a WooCommerce store, you'll need to Purchase web hosting Install the WordPress software Install the WooCommerce plugin to WordPress Go through WooCommerce Handy Setup Wizard to configure your store. Once you do that, you can manage your store via a user-friendly dashboard. Using Shopify is quite intuitive and easy to understand right out of the box. You just have to sign up, and then they take you by the hand through the whole process. To get started, you can choose from over 100 optimized online store layouts, so you don't need to have design skills yourself or hire a designer. The designs that Shopify offers are really top-notch and optimized to generate good conversion rates from your visitors. Shopify is extremely easy to get up and running, so it can be used by beginners who have never dipped their feet in e-commerce. The entire tool is very affordable, making it an attractive option for small businesses that are just starting out and want to minimize costs. Shopify offers many template layout structures for you to take advantage of, so you don't have to hire someone to help you with your store. You can literally build, style, and launch you. Winner, Shopify. While WooCommerce is still accessible to non-developers, ease of use is Shopify's most unique feature and Shopify does have the edge in that area that our online store on your own. Before continuing with the next one, we want to make a very special and important recommendation. We know that the construction and configuration of a website or an online store can be somewhat complicated and many times you will need help with that. Do not complicate yourself. Visit FiverrR.com and find the ideal expert at much cheaper prices than you could find in the big marketing agencies. You will find the Fiverr link below in the description of this video. Number 3 Payment Methods WooCommerce gives you a lot of ways to work with payments. First off, it offers its own official WooCommerce payment service that's powered by Stripe. However, the official service is only available to US-based merchants at the time that we're doing this comparison. Beyond that, WooCommerce lets you integrate with hundreds of additional gateways using plugins. But you can also find lots of third-party extensions for smaller payment gateways, including local providers. In addition to debit and credit card payments, WooCommerce also makes it easy to accept alternative payment options, i.e. cryptocurrency, cash on delivery, checks, and more. Shopify offers its own Shopify payment service that's enabled by default and Shopify heavily encourages you to use this default option. You can use a different gateway, but Shopify will charge you an extra fee on top of the regular processing fee from your provider. If you're willing to pay that fee, Shopify supports hundreds of additional gateways full list here. Shopify does support manual payments with no transaction fee. You can also access additional options, like cryptocurrency, via third-party gateways. Winner, WooCommerce. Both tools support lots of large and small payment gateways, but WooCommerce wins because it doesn't charge an extra fee for using third-party payment gateways. 
Number 4 Features and Plugins In terms of core e-commerce features, WooCommerce and Shopify offer everything that you'd expect. Physical products such as variable products, digital products, shopping carts, checkout plus payment gateways, coupons discounts, shipping calculations, tax calculations, order management, customer management, reports, mobile app. Where they differ is in adding features beyond that, which you will typically do via third-party extensions. WooCommerce calls these plugins. Shopify calls these apps. For WordPress and WooCommerce, you'll find 58,000 plus free plugins at WordPress.org and thousands more premium plugins at other marketplaces like Code Canyon. Not all of those plugins are focused on e-commerce, but the point is that you have a lot of flexibility. For Shopify, you'll find 5,700 plus apps, which also gives you a lot of flexibility, though it's well below what WordPress and WooCommerce offer. Winner, WooCommerce. While both platforms give you all the core features you need to make an e-commerce store, WooCommerce has a larger collection of add-ons and direct code access for customizations. Number 5. Operating and Maintenance Issues and Costs If you use WooCommerce, you'll be responsible for maintaining your store, which mainly consists of updating the WooCommerce core software and extensions. Updating is simple, you just click a few buttons. However, there can sometimes be compatibility issues, so you usually want to be careful and safely update your store by using a staging site. You'll also need to make sure you're making regular backups, which you can do with plugins such as Blog Vault or Jetpack Backup. If you don't want to do this yourself, you can pay for a type of hosting called Managed WordPress Hosting typically starts at $30 per month or you can pay for a WordPress maintenance service. WooCommerce focused services usually cost $100 to $150 per month. With Shopify, you don't need to worry about maintaining the Shopify software because Shopify handles everything for you. In terms of backups for Shopify, you will probably want to pay for a Shopify app like Rewind Backups to make sure you always have a copy of your store's data. This costs anywhere from $3 to $99 per month, depending on your store, so Shopify maintenance costs can also add up even though Shopify handles updates for you. Winner, Shopify. One of the perks of Shopify is that it handles a lot of the maintenance for you. With WooCommerce, you'll need to handle updates and set yourself or pay for someone to do it for you. However, Shopify backups are more expensive than WooCommerce, which is something to consider when it comes to budgeting. Number 6. Scalability Scalability refers to the ability of your e-commerce platform to handle large numbers of products and or high traffic situations. Both platforms can scale to handle large stores, though WooCommerce might require a little more technical expertise to scale. Winner, it's a tie. Both WooCommerce and Shopify can scale to handle large stores with lots of products. Number 7. Multilingual Capabilities WordPress and WooCommerce are very multilingual friendly. You can find several popular plugins to translate your store into unlimited languages. Some good options for WooCommerce are Translate Press R Tutorial, WPML R Tutorial, Weglet R Tutorial. Shopify includes a feature to let you create your store in up to five languages. You can manually add your translations, or you can use a third party translation app to help you generate the translations. Winner WooCommerce. WooCommerce lets you use unlimited languages and also gives you more flexibility for managing translations. Number 8. Tax Settings Both Shopify and WooCommerce include tools to help you collect accurate tax rates. WooCommerce offers its own free WooCommerce taxes service to automatically calculate accurate tax rates. This service supports over 30 plus countries, including the USA and most of Europe. WooCommerce also includes some built-in settings, as well as support for third-party solutions such as Avalara and TaxJar. Shopify includes built-in tax configurations for the USA and Canada, along with the option to set up custom tax overrides for various regions. Winner, it's a tie. Both platforms are pretty flexible and both give you options to automate tax calculations. Number 9. Shipping Configurations and Costs Both WooCommerce and Shopify offer flexible shipping options via built-in features or, more likely, third-party add-ons and integrations. Winner, it's a tie. Both platforms give you a lot of flexibility for custom shipping calculations. Number 10. 
Page speed and performance. Both WooCommerce and Shopify give you the tools to create a fast loading store. With WooCommerce, you'll be responsible for optimizing your store. This includes choosing good hosting, setting up a content delivery network, etc. As long as you invest in optimal hosting, you can make your store load very quickly. Shopify handles hosting for you, so you'll need to trust its performance optimization. It also builds in a CDN to improve global load times. Winner, it's a tie. You can create a fast loading store with both platforms. Number 11. SEO Capabilities SEO is obviously essential for any e-commerce store because organic traffic will play a big role in your store's success. With both platforms, you'll likely end up relying on third-party apps to give you more control over your store's SEO. WordPress WooCommerce has a number of popular free and paid SEO plugins such as Yoast SEO, Rank Math, All-in-One SEO, the SEO Framework, SEO Press. Many stores will be fine with a free plugin and even the paid plugins are pretty affordable. With Shopify, you'll also want a third-party SEO app if you're serious about your store's optimization. However, you don't get quite as many options as WooCommerce and the apps can be pretty expensive. For example, SEO Booster, the most popular Shopify SEO app, costs a whopping $30 per month for its premium versions, whereas most WordPress SEO plugins are more like $60 per year. Additionally, Shopify doesn't offer as much control over URLs. For example, you have to use the default URL structure for your blog on Shopify, which a lot of people don't like. This is an area where WooCommerce is stronger. Winner, WooCommerce. WooCommerce gives you more options for SEO extensions and its plugins are more affordable. It's also more flexible when it comes to things like URL structures. Number 12 Security Both WooCommerce and Shopify are secure. WooCommerce is built on WordPress, the security of which is trusted by big organizations as diverse as the US White House and Facebook. The WooCommerce core software is also rock solid and, because it's open source, benefits from the analysis of a large open source community in addition to the automatic team. Shopify has also done very well when it comes to security, though it's not an open source project so it's not quite as transparent. There have been no major breaches in Shopify's history, so you can also be confident in the security of your Shopify store. Overall, both platforms are secure, though WooCommerce requires a little more vigilance to maintain security such as making sure to promptly apply software updates. Winner, it's a tie because both platforms are secure. However, Shopify is a little more hands-off when it comes to security, which some people might prefer. Now for the important question, should you use WooCommerce or Shopify? As we compared Shopify versus WooCommerce in detail in the sections above, you can hopefully see the themes that we set up for you at the beginning play out. That is, WooCommerce excels when it comes to flexibility and features, while Shopify has the edge when it comes to simplicity because Shopify handles a lot of the basic setup and maintenance for you. But here's the important thing, there are ways to make WooCommerce simpler and more hands-off, but there aren't many ways to add more flexibility to Shopify beyond its pre-built apps. This is one of the big reasons why WooCommerce is a better option for most people and also why WooCommerce is leading Shopify in terms of market share. In this regard, we suggest you go to Fiverr where you can find freelancers specialized in configuring online stores, be it Shopify, WooCommerce, or any platform you are using. Below in the video description you will find a link that will take you directly to Fiverr.com. Do you still have any questions about choosing between WooCommerce versus Shopify? Let us know in the comments section and we'll try to help.